What's up, Art Squad? Mr. C here, this time with a really fun word art project. If you are one of my students, you've got two options. You could do any words you want, preferably something really uplifting and positive, or you could do the words Rebel Strong. If you do those words, I will pick one of your designs to be on a t-shirt um, that we're going to do. And then the rest of them will be part of a big collage or a big video or a big something to share with the, the community. So it's your, cho your choice. Just a positive message in general. Or if you want yours to be part of this like community sharing thingy, uh, do the words Rebel Strong. Um, now, let's start off by simply penciling the, what I want to call the skeleton of your words. Now, this is your chance to decide if your words are going to be pretty much straight across like the word love I just showed you, or if you want it to go on a curve. Um, I think mine I want to go on a curve. So there's rebel and there's strong. Now I'm going to write the, word, the letters as light as I can so that if I make them too big or too small, I can easily erase them and redo them. Um, luckily, first try, I got them pretty solid. I mean, but just for the, just to prove that this is a smart part of the process to, to write lightly, I'm gonna erase four of my letters and redo them. That's why we start off, uh, in light pencil. So that you can kind of space them out, get them how you like. So that's extremely light, so I'm gonna zoom it in real quick. All of that's gonna be erased pretty soon. All right, now's my chance to start having some fun with the design here. Uh, the word rebel is going to be in bubble letters. It's going to be a rebel bubble. A rebel bubble. A rebel bubble. So see how I did a force field around the letter and I made it sort of uh, goopy? I can even make the letters look kind of 3D by having old letters. R is old because that was the first one I did and E is new. Uh, I can have old letters go in front of new letters. See that? My new letter just disappeared behind R. So when I was drawing E, it disappeared when it hit the R. I'm going to keep going here and do these uh, force fields. And then let's talk about the holes inside these letters. I have two holes inside of B. I have one hole in inside of R. There are different ways to do it. If you want it to have sort of an urban, uh, fun, like street art feel, instead of just doing like a hole, like I did in the R, which is fine, you could also do them with X's. It makes it look like the bubble letter blew up so big that it like got stuck. It's almost like a balloon. So pretty fun. All right, once you're done with the force field, that's what I call it, kind of the drawing around the letter, um, you erase the skeleton. Now, if you've ever had me um, as an art teacher, um, I do this project with certain students once a year. So if you've ever done this with me before, it's sort of a review, but honestly, it's not. You, nobody ever graduates from doing cool lettering. I mean, this is how I do lettering all the time, and I'm 900 years old. All right, so um, I did bubble letters for Rebel. Now I'm gonna do a different kind of a force field. For the word strong, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do what you would call block letters. For yours, you could do bubble, you could do block, you could invent your own style. I'm just kind of throwing this out there as one of your options. And as you can see, my old letters go in front of my new letters. And as you can also see, I'm running out of pencil lead. Right, whatever, I'll just deal with it. All right, so... And then here's a block letter, so I'm not going to use the X thing. I'm just going to make it kind of predictable, like, like a solid rock type letter. These are block letters. I guess a solid block. Erase the skeleton. And now's my chance to really add some style. I can make the letters look like they're cracking, or they have icicles, or they're dripping, or they're, uh, or they're popping out like 3D. So check this out. This is what I want to do. I want to make the word strong look like it's 3D, and then I want the whole thing to look like it's dripping, like a, like someone painted it on a wall and it's dripping down. So check it out. Um, when you want your letters to look 3D, you take all of their corners, and with the letter O, it doesn't have corners, it's round, so I just took like its edge. But if it has corners, you take the corner, and if it doesn't have corners, take the far side of the edge, and you send all of them with these lines to what you could call a vanishing point. Now, I'm not making it perfect exact perspective here, so I didn't send them all to the exact same point, 
But if that was my vanishing point, then all those corners would have sent what we call diagonals. See, these lines are going diagonal. All the diagonals go that way. Um, then I kind of draw the letter again behind itself so that all this space that I just kind of shaded in, that's sort of the wall along the side of a three-dimensional letter S. Pretty rad. So let me bust this out real quick. All right, and as you can see, I threw in a little bit of shading and three-dimensionality in there. Um, all this, this, after I finished my skeletons, everything I'm doing right now is extra optional. The last thing I like to do uh, to give my letters style is um, I like to do this blob around them, make it look like they're dripping, like they were painted uh, like a mural. And a, a mural is an artwork made on a wall, if you didn't know that already, or if you knew it at one point and you forgot it. Let's see what kind of colors I've got today. I've got this nice dark blue, so I'm going to actually go over all these. Oh yeah, and you know what I wanted to show you? I wanted to show you how to take marker marks like this and turn it into paint. Um, one of my Instagram videos from a few weeks back uh, shows how to do this, but I, I just felt like doing it again. If you have these kind of, you know, like these just washable normal markers, um, then you can do this. You know, this is the kind of marker that I'm using. So, bam. All right, let's check it out. I'm going to kind of try and bust this out kind of quickly so that I can show you how to do this. Um, Obviously, when it's time for you to color your letters, please do your own style, your own colors. You don't have to copy me. I'm just do doing this as an example of what you could do. So right now, I'm sort of just getting a rough outline for all the letters as one big giant shape. Let's see here. All right. So once I'm done outlining these, I'm going to take a brush with some clean water. I'm going to add that water to the markers, and it's going to turn the markers into paint. This is sort of like the world of art's best kept secret, that if you have these markers lying around, you also happen to have paint lying around. All right, so here's my water, and I'm going to keep a paper towel handy, and let's see what I can do. Oh, yeah, this looks awesome. Check that out. It has this beautiful bleed uh, look to it, where the water hits the ink and the ink starts running. Now you may notice I'm being really careful with my brush here to only let it touch the outside of the letters. I want my letters to look white. Um, kind of like my last video when I did that drawing of the Easter Island guy's head, I let the white of the paper look like him, whereas the color that I added became the background. Well, this blue blob that's dripping off of my letters is sort of the letter's own personal mini background. Um, so the white of the page becomes the, the color. I mean, sorry, the color of the letters. The white of the page becomes the object. It becomes the figure. And I, I was talking about figure-ground relationships in that last video. You should check that out if you haven't already. All right, so almost done here. Let's speed this up. All right, and there you have it. So this came out pretty rad. Now, um, later on, I'm going to uh, snap my fingers and turn this into a rainbow lettering thing and maybe a black background, um, which you will see, I guess, now because you're watching the final version of this video and, like, I already edited it. But anyways, I had a lot of fun making art with you today. You rock. Stay wonderful. Stay creative.